Coronation Street star Ryan Prescott's life away from the cobbles is very different to that of his character Ryan Connor. The actor joined the ITV soap in 2018, taking over the role from Saul Harris. The 33-year-old actor took over the role of Michelle's troublesome son back in 2018. Ryan is the third actor to have played Ryan Connor, joining the cast when the character was reintroduced after Michelle's biological son Ole Neeson returned in 2018. When the character came back six years later, he was played by new actor Saul Harris as a much darker version. Harris had the role between 2012 and 2013 and left at the end of his contract. But as the character's exit is teased again this week, we take a look inside Prescott's life behind the scenes of Coronation Street. Familiar face Ryan Prescott was well received by fans when he took on the part, but it wasn't his first time in So Planned. Ryan's first major role was as Flynn Buchanan in Immerdale in 2011, who was introduced as a love interest for Aaron Dingle. The actor was shocked by the level of fame it brought him and was even stopped for autographs after his 12-episode stint on the ITV soap. Ryan went on to appear in Holby City, The Syndicate, Doctors and Casualty before finally landing the job of a lifetime on Corey. But the star's exit has been teased from the soap this week as his character is forced to choose between Alia and his dream job. Ryan's had a tough few years on the cobbles so far. Last year, the bartender risked jail after participating in an insurance scam with Debbie Webster. He had helped to stage the robbery and use the money had be paid by Debbie to allow him to return back to Ibiza and buy a share in a business there and live out his dreams. However, he ended up being caught and faced a lengthy jail sentence before the judge handed him community service instead. Things got even worse recently as he faced death when a pair of armed robbers broke into the bistro looking for the drugs that Damon had stashed there. Ryan was completely unaware about the reason for the robbery, but it understandably left him horrified as the gun was waved in his face as the two men made their demands. Exit looming? Following the robbery incident, Ryan broke down in front of Leanne as he explained his dream to head away. Confiding in her, he explained that he felt he was going to die when the gun was pulled on him, but didn't see his life flash before his eyes as most do because he didn't feel he had a life worth of that. Emotional, he explained that he had so many big plans for his life but didn't want to die just 10 minutes from where he was born. Ryan panicked about his life as he explained his dream of heading to Ibiza, but he ended up working in the same place he grew up, whilst Leanne tried to reassure him that he was most valued at his workplace. However, he quickly reminded her of what had done with Debbie but Leanne assured him people liked him working there. Things are set to turn next week when Ryan sees a chance to make his Ibiza dream coming true. A woman called Crystal appears in the bistro and hands a business card to Ryan, giving him a chance to follow his DJ dream. Ryan confides in Nick about Crystal and the offer she's given him but Nick advises him to think carefully about which is more important to him, DJing or Alia. What will he choose, and if he chooses Ibiza, is his exit looming? Well traveled away from the chaos of his Coronation Street storylines, actor Ryan is certainly well traveled and regular posts snaps on Instagram from his holidays around the world. He has been to Thailand, Amsterdam, Monaco and most of the USA, but has always returned home to the north of England. His most recent break saw him jet off to Crete, Greece for some much-needed sunshine in October last year.
Jim Leverian is also a keen gym user and often shocks fans when he posts gym selfie showing off his incredible physique. Revealing his ripped chest and arms in one topless Instagram snap, the soap star wrote, Ruach Leavage and Stash. In another, he wrote, At times we feel life holding us down, with all the weight of our own little worlds on our shoulders. Sometimes it can be hard to see that every time we're down there. A tiny window of opportunity is created for us to get back up. I miss you squat rack one of his friends even jokingly asked if he has been cast as the Hulk. Intense hiking trips, cold water swimming and meditation as well as hitting the gym hard, the actor enjoys going on intense hiking trips. His most recent trek saw him scale Blent Cathara, Sharp Edge in the Lake District before enjoying a cold water swim in a stunning lake. The star regularly joins the Let's, living beyond emotional trauma and stress, team on well bring focused hiking retreats. The organization, for which Ryan is an ambassador, brings people together around the UK to enhance their physical and mental well-being. The charity takes participants where it feels invigorating to connect with nature, we hike, we do Wim Hof breathing, we submerge in open water, we hike again, we eat and talk. Ryan has previously said his involvement with the movement is incredibly important to him and has inspired him to create healthier choices in his life. Speaking about his ambassadorship, Ryan said, I know, all too well, the difficulty of managing the labyrinth that is psychological wellness and the endless barriers of thought that hold us all back from clarity and freedom. Charities like Let's have such an important role to play, for anyone at all in need of finding a way through the darkest chapters of their lives. As well as enjoying the intense Let's hiking trips, Ryan also takes home the founder's educations on meditation. He is taken to his Instagram on many occasions to show snaps of himself meditating in beauty spots. Most recently, he took time to breathe in the fresh air and take in the views at Pendle Hill, Lancashire. The soap star was seen sitting cross-legged on a pillow, with his eyes closed. He imparted some wisdom on his fans in the post, writing in the caption, when you catch yourself in a clouded mind, too dense with thought to see clearly, come back to where your feet are. There is always a way to make space. Hashtag quiet the mind. Swanky Home Ryan was born in Southport, Merseyside and later moved to London to pursue his acting career after university. He's since moved back up north and enjoys his time away from the cameras at his plush home. The Corey star spent time relaxing in his fabulous garden and even turned his hand to painting nature landscapes in it last year. He posted a snap at the time as he delicately brushed acrylic paint onto a small canvas while sat at his outdoor dining area in his sun-soaked backyard. In chillier months, Ryan still gets plenty of use out of his outdoor space thanks to his open fire pit which he enjoys with a beer in hand in the evening. Inside his home, the ITV actor cooks himself nutritious meal in a swanky monochrome kitchen. The well-being focused star's eatery has glossy charcoal grey cupboards, stainless steel appliances and funky black and white diamond pattern tiles on the wall. He has painted the walls in a light grey and has spot lighting in the ceiling. The dining table, with wooden chairs and grey cushions also sits comfortably in the kitchen. Dark side While Ryan has told how much he loves being on Coronation Street, there has been a dark side to playing Ryan Connor. Six months after starting on Corey, the actor confessed passionate fans had left him wary of going out in public. The character caused a stir in the early days of his return, 
particularly as he was involved in the death of Pal Cormac, whose mob boss Dad Ronan Truman then targeted the whole Connor family. Asked about the reaction to playing such a provocative character, he said, Ryan's going to get a kicking I know he is. This is why I'm cautious in the streets now. Stuff like that does happen and you've got to remember people have been watching this show for over 50 years. And when you're watching a show for such a long period of time on such a regular basis it builds a natural reality for itself and people are quite passionate about it. I'll take